I caught up with uh, Sandeep Naik and Shashank Singh, uh, partners at Apex, uh, Apex Partners India uh, Private Advisors. They are one of the largest private equity firms, global private equity funds, uh, very big globally, uh, focus and specialize in areas like healthcare, telecom, media. Uh, these guys did the Putney Eyegate deal last year. Sandeep and Shashank both talking about their outlook for deals getting done in 2012 and the sectors, both from the public and uncoated markets, they are bullish on uh, in the, coming, uh, the coming couple of quarters, actually the next couple of years. Their minimum average time horizon for investment is five years, by the way. Uh, so, I mean, longish investors, private equity firm, Sandeep Naik and Shashank Singh. Listen in. We suspect that 2011 is going to be a very strong year for getting deals done, and given the background around valuations, should also be a good vintage. Who's got the heavier hand in in the sense? I mean, when you talk to companies in need of capital, and you're the guys who got the capital, I mean, how does it work in it in times like this? Because when you talk to companies, they say because of rates being high, because of various other issues, capital is a big constraint, especially in intensive capital int intensive industries. Uh, you know, take that. Private equity is trying to find the best opportunities in the sector and the and in and the companies and the companies are trying to find the best partners, mm -hmm. and that's how we see that equation. But if you look at the macro, what's happening? You know, given the global turmoil that's happening, the policy reforms which are at a standstill uh, in India today, corruption scandals, mm -hmm. high interest rates, peak inflation, mm -hmm. uh, what's that leading to is a lot of uncertainty. And one thing is pretty sure that capital hates uncertainty. Mm -hmm. And so, if you think about the different forms of capital and where private equity is currently pegged. You know, private equity actually is very comfortable with taking on uncertainty because some of these risks are more cyclical than structural. Mm -hmm. And as long as we believe that structurally there's nothing wrong with the country, the sector, or the company, we are here to take long-term bets. And so the way we think about this is really matching up with companies that are fundamentally pretty strong and then backing them for the long run. So I wouldn't say anyone has an has a upper hand in the equation, but... Somebody always does. I given mean, the uncertainty, day, right? given the uncertainty, you know the valuations are 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 coming to an orbit where we can uh, engage and have a conversation across the table. Okay, uh, are your investors, I mean, uh, comfortable handing you the money? I mean, writing checks right now uh, to sort of put it invested in this environment, or I mean, is there hesitation? Are people worried? Um, uh, we raise ten-year funds, yeah. and so our investors are limited partners in our global fund give us commitments over that period of time. And clearly when they do diligence, originally when they decide, am I going to give a commitment, mm -hmm. at that point they have to take a view on uh, the team, the macro, and so on. Mm -hmm. So yes they, are, yes, they are comfortable. Private equity also as an asset class is one over a long period of time that has proven itself uh, to provide superior returns to public markets and other, other alternatives. Mm -hmm. And so uh, given deficits with pension funds and so on in the West, which is where a bulk of our capital comes from, you know, this is an asset class that's important for bridging that returns gap. So yes, they are comfortable investing. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free, ndtv.com slash apps.